Louisiana Beer Review's Tecate Original. Introduced in 1944, a lager beer. Got a good Best Buy date on it. I uh, got this at Matherns. This is a special edition, Tecate Revisited. I've been to Tecate, uh, Mexico, in uh, the state of Baja, California, Del Norte. But I went there in 2006, been a while. 142 calories, 4.5% alcohol, so it's mild, mellow beer imported by Cervezas Mexicanas. Okay, a trademark of Cervezas Cuatemoc Montezuma. But it links you to Heineken, Mexico. Heineken bought 100% of this brewing company a few years ago. They slowly, you know, they start out with a partnership and then they just bought the whole thing. Like they did with Lagunitas and a bunch of other companies. All right. But they actually bought Tecate. They bought a company that had bought a company because Tecate was an independent company when it started in 1944 in a small city in Mexico and then uh, they got bought out by Potomac Montezuma in 1954. Uh, so it had been bought out 10 years after it got started. Okay, so I use a Heineken glass since that's who owns it. I don't have a Tecate glass. It's overcast and very extremely incredibly humid here on this warm nearly hot May afternoon. Clear, bubbly like Heineken. White head like Heineken, but this is 4.5. Heineken is 5. And this uses cornstarch, whereas Heineken uh, does not use any adjuncts. Water, barley malt, cornstarch hops and yeast in this product. It smells like pale malt. I see a little, a few little dots of orange in here, which is coming from something. All right, in the beer. Pungent um, bread. That's the aroma. Let's go with the taste. Sweet, semi sweet, semi sour, like in the lager beer sourness flavor. Medium bodied, crisp, easy going. There's a little honey note. Low bitterness, probably around 10 IBUs. For some reason, I always prefer Tecate from the bottle. I even drank some bottled Tecate in uh, Reynosa, Mexico, around in the late 90s. Um, it was really good. I don't know, it's probably some psychological thing that the can is not as good. It's totally in my head, but um, I just, in my mind, some fixation that I think the bottle is better. Does it taste like the Carta Blanca, the Sol, the Dos Equis, the Bohemia, the Superior, all the other ones that are under that Heineken umbrella now? It doesn't really taste, it tastes similar to them because it's an adjunct Mexican lager, but it's got its own individual flavor and in sort of like a mild toast bread, toasted bread. I don't know, it's hard to describe. But it's very easy going. I like that little honey note. So, les le bon temps relé. I'm going to score this um, 92 out of 100, A minus. 
you could argue it up to just regular old A, but A minus 92 out of 100, 9.2 out of 10. An excellent beer, and I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all go to Tecate, Mexico, and tour the Tecate Brewery.